Hi, I'm happy to see you all again in this class. In the previous class, we were discussing the first lesson in the English textbook, Truths in the Forest. And we have completed a half of it. And today we are going to see the remaining part of the lesson. Before going into the remaining part, let me give you a view on the previous class. The author Fritz Winken and his mother were living in the Hürgen forest and in the Christmas Eve they heard a knock at the door. It was Americans. Three American soldiers asked for a refuge for one night. And also they explained one of them was heavily wounded. So Otho's mother accepted and sheltered them in that home. And at that night, they heard another knock at the door. The author was really excited to check more Americans at the door. But he, to his amusement, it was not Americans, it was Germans. Four Germans were standing outside the door. It was during the World War II and there was a fight battle between Americans and Germans both were enemies so the author got frightened he was paralyzed in fear he was not able to move and that's what we saw in the previous class let us move into today's class and the author was paralyzed in fear the author's mother came out and checked, opened the door, half of it, and found out they were Germans. She was also frightened in fear because she knew it well. Sheltering enemies is against the law. The punishment for that is death. They knew it well, so they got frightened and they were not moving. And the author's mother started speaking. Frolishi Venaschen, she said. Frolishi Venaschen. And she got a reply and it was a wish. They wished Merry Christmas too. The word Frolishi Venaschen means Merry Christmas. I told you there were four Germans. One was the German corporal, the head of them, and three soldiers. The German corporal, he started speaking to Otho's mother. We lost our squad. Give us a place in your house this night so that we could find our troops tomorrow at the daylight. And finally, the German corporal asked, Can we rest here? Of course, said Otho's mother. You can also have a fine warm meal till the pot is empty. The Germans could feel the smell, smell of roast chicken. But the mother said, we have three more guests inside the house whom you may not consider friends. We have three other guests whom you may not consider friends. And she said in a stern voice, this is Christmas Eve and there will be no shooting here. The German corporal, he wondered and asked, who's there? Americaners, said Otho's mother. And she was looking at everyone's face and said, listen, you could be my sons and so could those who were sitting inside my house. There was a boy with a gunshot wound fighting for his life. His two friends are lost and just as hungry and tired as you are, she said. And she raised her voice a little and added, This night, this Christmas night, let us forget about killing. The corporal was thinking and staring at her. They were not saying any word. The author's mother put an end to the silence by saying, Enough talking. Please put your weapons on the wood pile and 
come inside. Let us go before the others eat the dinner. To their amazement, the soldiers they placed their guns on the wood pile. It happened real. They placed their guns on the wood pile and walked inside the house. The guns were three carbines. One light machine gun and two bazookas. These were the guns they placed on the wood pile. But at the same time, mother was talking in French with Jim. Jim was able to understand French. And Jim was replying in English something. And suddenly, the Americans placed their guns on the wood pile. They couldn't believe their eyes. Both of them have placed their guns on the wood pile. Now, the Germans and Americans were sitting together around the table, rubbing their elbows. It was a small room. The author's mother called out the author and said, Quick, bring more potatoes. Potatoes and oats. They were hungry. We know that a starving man is an angry one. So, the author went into the storage room and was checking for some food. Some potatoes and oats in that storage room and at that time the author heard the moaning sound Harry was moaning Harry was a wounded soldier who was placed in the author's bed was moaning now the author went to check him and to his surprise one of the German soldiers putting his glasses on and checking that wound and he said, I studied medicine at Heidelberg a few months ago. He told this to the Americans in a somewhat fair English. And also, he explained to the author's mother that he is suffering from a severe loss of blood. What he needs right now is complete rest and nourishment. Good food and complete rest would heal him quickly. All soldiers looked very young to the author. Hens and Willy were 16, the German corporal aged 23, Hens and Willy from the same place Cologne, a city in Germany. Then mother said Grace. After the dinner, mothers stood and walked to the door and was looking at the sky. She also asked us, the author and the other soldiers, she asked the author and other soldiers to join with her to see the star of Bethlehem. It was a tradition to see the star of Bethlehem in the Christmas Eve, the night of the Christmas Eve. They went there and stood beside the author's mother and were looking at the brightest star in the sky. They all were happy. They had peace at that night. But there one was missing. It was Harry who was sleeping in the bed. Others were looking at the brightest star with the author's mother. They almost forgotten the war at that night. Next morning, Harry woke early in the morning and swallowed the broth which was fed by the author's mother. Broth was the soup. And as the time goes, he became stronger. Harry got up his strength. Mother now made another refreshing drink to Harry by adding one egg, rest of corporal's wine. One egg, wine and some sugar. It was given to Harry and others were eating oatmeal in the morning. And after the breakfast, the German corporal advised the Americans how to find their way back to their lines. He advised them how to go back to their lines, to back to their squad. The German corporal was looking over the Jim's map. Jim had the map in his hand. The German corporal 
pointed out a stream a river and advised them to continue along this way and then jim asked why don't we head to as manshaw manshaw is a town closest to the hugen forest only 4 miles away so he asked why don't we go to manshaw the german corporal explained manshaw was retaken by the germans so you should not go in that way now mother gave all the weapons back to the soldiers and said be careful boys i want you to get home some day i want you to get to your home some day where you belong and added god bless you all the germans and the americans shook their hands and went in the opposite directions the author and his mother watched them disappear in the opposite directions and that was the peace which they had at that night amidst the second world war amidst the battle of bulge between germans and americans one night one christmas eve they had peace in the hugen forest it was really amazing isn't it that's the end of the story i hope you have understood the lesson i also shared your link that forwards you to the g form open book comprehensive examination before attending the examination just read the story of pages 3 4 and 5 because the questions were taken from those pages it would be easy as it is an open book comprehensive examination you are allowed to open your textbook to find the answers it's really an easy examination and i hope you would get full marks i wish you all very best thank you for watching this video